Well, maybe I've got the bug, but I'm back out today with the Mine Lab GM 1000. After I found a bent penny and a spent bullet yesterday. And yeah, I got the baby wipes out to get all this cleaned because it was absolutely filthy. But don't tell me, Dad. I'm out today with a dog because he's not had his walk yet. And I've been mooching in the garage, which I like to do as well. So I thought I'd come out, give this bad boy a go, and have a look on these little trails for any old pennies we can find. Right, we found a signal. And it's this, it's absolutely diddy. And it was going off like Billy O. I'm thinking again, it's another small bullet of some description. It's well been flattened, whatever it's hit. But I found that just in there, kind of at that depth. On the non ferrous setting. Now that's a good sign because to me, that's about the size of a good sized nugget. So if I was down at the river, hearing them kind of wobble and pops in a crevice where, you know, I'd be expecting to find gold by panning or sluicing, that's the kind of thing I need to be learning. So, um, I'm quite pleased. If that's the one thing I find today, I'll take that back with me. Now the way I've got this set up, that bar graph on the top left means it's going to iron. So I'm not interested. To the right is the, well it says gold or gold bar, but that's your non-ferrous. So I'm trying to just be um, pretty picky really with that. It's a very basic display. Where I want to be with this detector, I need to be getting used to that. If I was at the river, I probably would use it for anything wide open like iron as well, because that's where any of the heavies will drop out in a section. So if iron's going to drop out there, other metallic objects, the gold definitely will. So you use it to help zone in a bit. And on this section here, I was only interested in going down literally 10 millimetres. I didn't want to dig any holes today, especially when I'm on a path like that. I just wanted to scrape away where the mountain bike tyres were. Same again. That looks like... I'm not sure again, I think that's another small round. And here I was basically checking in the puddles just to see what was in there because these might be the lowest points on this section as well. Now this piece had some precision to it and it had a knurled end and looked like it was brass and it had a threaded outer part to it as well. Another one. So, it's getting a bit foggy, a bit dark now. He's had a good walk up here, and I found what I think are three small casings, or bullets, or shells, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna call them. But that's really good. That's exactly what I wanna be finding. Um, again, it might not be great viewing, but I've gotta transfer all these skills and reading this and interpreting the signals. That's heavy. Wow, what's that? So here's a photograph of what I just found and it weighed 274 grams. It felt heavy and I really don't know what it is. Anyway, here's a photograph with the rest of the pieces that we found today and we even found a small zip.